This uh, camper van on a Citroen basis is the Foster V636 uh, EBL. It says that they're AB, which means from, from 47,800. Uh, that is uh, a really highly um, um, optimistic. Here we've got 58,180, uh, 636 centimeters in length. This is a classic camper van with no thrills. Um, so, uh, mind you, uh, Foster does things which are quite nice and bright, huge bench there to sit on well it's the same size as everyone else but it look it looks as though it's huge um and here we have uh, two burners we have a sink with a proper domestic uh drainage and it's a useful square shape so that is quite good not so good is the tap better to have one stuck inside i think there'll be a cover for this somewhere it's gone it's gone missing now this is a vehicle with an enormous bed at the back it's a bed on wheels it's for taller people which tends to be the 636 centimeter long uh, vehicle has stacks of uh, um, space for a bed and uh, it is rather open and bright inside round the sides we've got lots of storage in there here i i've noticed a number of vans have this uh, this wiring there i think that i think that's for the lighting uh, but a, a lot of actually d done done that i'm not i'm sure it'll be fixed when you actually got got, uh, got it though unless somebody's pinched the light out of them which wouldn't surprise me in this place uh, th this bed, of course, will, uh, like all beds and all camper vans, this, you can take this to bits, uh, you can take it to bits by uh, removing uh, this uh, board here, will come out, and uh, you can have two singles, you can have one single and a stack of space, you can have, put your bike in there and sleep to one side, uh, you can bring your uh, hippopotamus in here, all sorts of things. Uh, will work. Anyway, down here we have got, and I shall show you this now, I've got a, uh, what's this? This is a really big wardrobe for a vehicle of this size. In here, we've got this uh, very bright washroom. I'm gonna come inside and show you it. There's me, so it's, it's, whoops, uh, it's rather large, uh, lots of space around. I'm not saying a duckboard though, but even so you can see there's uh, still a lot of space above my head. Uh, Moulded sink, could have, have done better with that. Uh, not for a good thing. Um, it's too small. Okay, toilet, plenty of room around the toilet. And there you go, me in the shower. And unfortunately, there's only one drainage and it's a small one at that. You might say this doesn't go up very high. I think that goes up as high. Uh, I think it goes up, it doesn't go as high as it would do at home, but uh, you know, it's, this, is, this, is, this is a camper van, not, a, not the Ritz Hotel. Here, storage in the Foster is unfortunately only available in Germany, Austria and Switzerland. Uh, one or two have appeared on the used market in other countries, but uh, not many. Storage up there. Now look, large table. What really stands out about this vehicle is it's very, very bright. The fridge that opens both ways. It's relatively inexpensive, I'm sorry to say, so inexpensive as something that's nearly 60,000 euros, but it's relatively inexpensive and uh, it's bright, it does the job, it doesn't really have any thrills, but hey, it's, uh, it's not too bad. Comes in other forms as well. You can either have a uh, one with bunk beds in the back, for example, or alternatively, uh, you can have, there's a small one here, 541 centimeters in length, a uh, very similar type of uh, uh, um, uh, width-wise bed. You've got storage above the bed. You'd want to put your feet down there. At this end, you've got the reading lights. You've got, this will all come up. 
541 centimeters you know that is a very small footprint down here you can see we've got storage as well as technical infrastructure and in this side this is where the uh, gas goes to gas canisters uh, that'll keep it uh, well got on full blast in the winter it would probably only last just over a week but uh, the in normal use uh, in the summer two canisters well it last for cooking well over a year i think uh all right so um here you are another german layout 636 centimeter vehicle i'll take you around the back uh we can see it from there and uh there you go So you can see once more we've got a layout where the uh, two singles can be made. One of the things here, this one does come with this shelf, which is actually fixed. Uh, but uh, that, I mean, the point of having a shelf in, of course, is that you could actually stick. It's easier for stacking chairs and the like. It's not very good though for putting uh, bicycles in. So it depends what you actually want to do. But I can easily demonstrate how uh, how easy it is to make the into two singles and they take this off and you can see on this plate there that it's got the clips to hold it onto there like that so it's quite simple and straightforward um, i do appreciate that for you know for tall people it is somewhat difficult to be in a uh, van uh, even motorhomes this is sixty thousand and six meters in length double uh sorry double bunks at the back a six meter vehicle oh it's gonna be a bit of a squash and uh, you've got the same toilet same bright toilet same wardrobe same here uh, same cooking facilities and yes another uh, long one 636 centimeters in length and this one here i think oh i'm going to go to the back because that's the same but at the back is the exciting part it was called a um store wonder and this uh you've got this the bed will go up it'll drop down a huge amount of space in there at the moment you could put a motorbike in there uh you could put all sorts of things in there let's see if the keys in Yes, it comes down, so it can bring this down. Now, uh, it will actually go down further than this, but the problem now is because there's cushions here which will are getting in the way. So if I put it back up again, like that, I take the cushion, oh, I'll put it up a bit more. Uh, I can then take the cushion out, which comes out like that, stick this on the top, like that, there's one up you can pretend that that's a person and here comes the other one this is profiled in this way to uh, ensure that when the bed is uh, it is furthest point down you can actually put this inside so really want to put the bed down first and then put this in position that goes down like that oops so there we are so put these side bits up now I can bring this all the way down which I'll do I'll take this magazine out of the way. Right, so that's as f it's gone down as far as it'll go. So that's your uh, um, minimum size in storage, maximum for the bed. Then these things here, I'm going to have difficulty tucking them in because they're <laughs> on the wrong way round. But they then tuck in to, they then tuck into the sides down here. And you can see that they're contoured to allow them to do that. So that is, I, this is the one I like the best of all of them. The price is roughly the same as well. I think that's a very good uh, solution. There's a number of companies doing this. It's not just Foster, uh, but I think it's, I think it's a pretty good uh, way. Okay, good. So thanks very much here for watching this video. And uh, um, that's um, a quick look at the Foster range. I don't think I went in this one here. I'll just have a show the living living up and this thing here is going to cost 
53,000 and it's a six meter uh, basic camper van uh, with bunk beds and in the back. So, um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, this is the largest um, uh, channel on YouTube for uh, motorhomes and camper vans. And uh, so if you see anything you fancy here, do contact the, uh, the manufacturers or try to find a dealer. Uh, that won't do, of course, much good because at the moment it's very hard to buy them. There's huge waiting list and this is because of difficulties in the supply chain, which started off with COVID and has been exas exacerbated by other international, in some cases, in, in British case, local problems. So uh, you, there is a very long wait, and if you get a vehicle within 18 months of ordering it, then you can consider yourself lucky. But for the moment, uh, this is me in Dusseldorf, signing out. Thanks very much for watching, and all the best from me.